Hi, good evening. I am taking these online sessions, especially with the UI path, from last four five years. Other than this UI path, other than this training, it's my part time. Like I am getting some time, and I am involved with the training. And it's more than ten fifteen years I am involved with these trainings. Parallelly, I am working with the companies and all. What my observation is. like people are going to get trained with the ui path you are going to learn about the excel automation you are going to learn about the pdf automation you are going to learn about the ri framework you are going to learn about the orchestrator and every time like a lot of use cases and everything you are uh, like uh, you are going to make it complete and uh, maximum of the time you need to put some fake experience and when you are going to put some fake experience like you are going to put some experience like uh, 1.5 years 2 years of experience that you are going to put in your resumes so at the time of interviews people are going to ask you some questions number 1 number 2 once you will be in the job at that particular time also you are going to face the same problem so what i am talking about i am talking about other than the development development is okay definitely development is the core of the entire episode you need to be the master with the excel automations with the ri framework with the pdf with selectors with modern activities but other than this if you need to crack the interviews if you want to crack the interviews and if you want to work successfully in the company without any hurdle no one is going to guess like oh you have the fake experience so what you need to do the few things that you need to remember and the few things you need to work on what exactly is that the first thing that you need to understand what are the different types of boards we have what are the different types of board we have definitely we have the unattended board we have the attended board so as for the automation requirement we can go for the attended or unattended after this attended unattended we need to take care of the license see i am talking about the middle level of the companies like you are going to be responsible for maximum of the things it's not necessary that always you are going to get the architecture like architect in the company it's not necessary that always you are going to get some different profiles people with you it might be you are working in the companies it's a mid level of the company and uh, in your department you are responsible for everything you need to deal with the license so what types of license is required what types of license the client need to purchase so definitely we need to deal with the developer license we need to deal with the named license so different categories of the license are there in what scenarios what license is required suppose we need to apply the computer vision we need to apply the cb ai cb in that case again what types of license is required suppose we are going to learn about the we are going to implement the ci cd implementation we are going to apply the automation ops so again the licensing is the issue what category of the license the company need to purchase because the cost is always the matter so you need to deal with the license now once you are going to decide like okay we are going to develop this kind of board we are going to use this particular kind of the license then the next part is we need to deploy it's basically the deployment i am talking about and again on the basis of types of the board that you are going to develop we are going to deploy the board how we are going to deploy the attended board 
how we are going to deploy the unattended port. So we, we should have the clear concept about this. Simply, if I'm asking you the question, you are going to develop the boat. And finally, our boat will be at the development machine. I need to put the boat to the production or I need to give the boat to the testing environment. So what are the things you are going to make the copy? And what are the things you are going to deploy over there? So definitely it will be the NuGet package I'm talking about. So how we are going to deal with the NuGet package? Suppose we are working with the RE framework. In the RE framework, the popular concept is like we have the config file, we have the config.xlx, and within the config.xlx, we are going to make the changes. It's okay, perfectly fine. Once our boat get deployed, now the user need to make some changes in the Excel. That's why the Excel sheet is there. In the config file, the user need to make the changes. Where we are going to find out that Excel? What you believe, like that particular Excel is available with your machine? We need to find out like what is the location of that? How we are going to upgrade the package? Suppose I'm going to make some small changes. What I need to do, I need to upgrade the package. How we are going to up upgrade the package? How we are going to download the package? How we are going to install the package? So all these things we need to understand. Now, once your boat is running successfully, then we also need to deal with some of the time <coughs> Sorry, we also need to deal with the event driven deployment. Event driven deployment means what? What I'm talking about. Once the user is going to get the new mail, some mail will be there. The boat will automatically get started. So I'm talking about the event driven development. So many times remember, maximum of the time, we are going to deploy the boat. We are going to deploy the boat on the VM virtual machine. Means your machine is going to be remote. It's not your PC. You need to connect with that. And after connect with that particular machine, you need to install the software. So what are the software that we need to install over there? How we are going to connect with the VM? Suppose your VM is locked, then how the automation is going to run? Some of the time we need to deal with the background automation. Background automation means what? Suppose the boat is going to take around five hours to complete the entire process. What do you think? The machine is going to be ideal for the five hours? Definitely user need the machine. So we need to deal with the background automation. Suppose the VM is locked. In that case, whether your automation is going to work or not. All these things we need to take care. Got my point? This is about the deployment I'm talking about. Now your boat is successfully running. Or either your boat is going to run successfully or you are going to get the system exception or you are going to get the business exception. Now my question is how you are going to deal with these exceptions. It's okay. You are going to put the try and catch. You are going to get the log file. But my question is the log file by default, the log file that you are getting, what do you think? Like, can you get it something from that? Can you get something from that particular log file? No. We need to handle all these things carefully. Once your boat is going to run successfully, I need to drop the mail. I need to drop the mail to the customer like that particular boat at this particular time, it's get executed successfully. And we need to attach the log file. We need to attach the log file, how the boat gets started. At what time the boat gets started, what process they did in the background. 
so i need to attach the log file i need to attach the entire history the same thing in the case of system exception again you need to drop the mail to the user in the case of system exception again you need to drop the mail to the user and you need to specify the reason why this system exception get generated at the same time this exception it will also go to the developers basically people are using the shared mailbox or it might be like the developer mailbox will be there or the client mailbox will be there but definitely the mail is going to be dropped the same in the case of business exception again you need to drop the mail and you need to drop the mail to the user as well as you need to drop the mail to the owner of the boat you need to drop the the mail to the developers like so the developer can check it out what exactly the problem was so what i'm talking about here we need to do the log manipulations we are going to handle the log files and we are going to keep the log file in the proper location and any time the client or the developer they can open the log file and they can go through how the execution of boot is going on suppose we are going to work with 100 transaction 100 transactions is there out of 100 transaction the 10th transaction the 20th transaction or 30th transaction having some error or some of the transaction is going to be successful or some of the transaction is going to be fail how we are going to keep the track of that so we need to deal with this we need to send all the details mail to the customer like out of 100 the 97 transactions get completed successfully and three transactions not get su completed successfully so manually they can approach for that so all these things we need to handle during the runtime okay now what i need to do so during the deployment all these things you need to take care once the boat is running all these things you need to take care all these things we need to take care next what i am talking about you are writing the code might be you are going to leave the organization in that case what about the boat how the people is going to provide the production support because you develop the board you are familiar with it and everything but how the new user is going to identify the things like what are the things we are we worked earlier with the ui path projects so what i am talking about i am talking about the kind of the coding that you are writing so you need to understand what exactly the best coding practices how we are going to maintain the versions that versioning control i am talking about and other than the versioning control the most important thing when you are going to leave the organization if i need to give the protection support or i need to do something extra with that particular existing board so how i will approach for that for that purpose i need to go with the pdd i need to understand the entire process then i need to go with the std suppose i am new in the organization and after 5 days i need to give the production support client is not able to run the port suppose this is the attended board and client is not able to run the board so what you need to do i need to go with the user manual i need to go with the release notes i need to go with the release notes so as a developer this is our responsibility your development is going to be completed only if you can work on this suppose i am getting some request from the client that i need to go for the automation so what we need to do at first we need to develop the process design documents 
don't believe like every time you are going to get the architect in your team, the analyst in your team. Maximum of the time, in the maximum of the company, I'm talking about the mid-level of the companies, maximum of the time, you need to do all these stuff. You need to develop the PDD. Definitely, we are going to identify all the requirements and everything. We need to develop the SDD. Here we need to define the existing process. Here we need to define what will be the future solutions. Everything we need to define. Once the boat get completed, I need to work with the user manual. I need to create the user manual. And we need to create the user manual in such a way that the client easily going to recognize all these things. Like how to run the boat. We need to discuss about the release notes. We need to work with the release notes. So as a developer, all these tasks you are responsible for. As a developer, all these tasks you are responsible for. This particular session that I am talking about, that we are going to start with. From coming Saturday, we are going to start with this particular batch at 8 p.m. IST. It's a Saturday and Sunday session we have. Saturday, we are going to start with the batch at 8 p.m. IST. Number one. Number two, it's going to take around it's going to take around 20 hours. If I'm talking about the entire things, it's going to take around 20 hours. So what are the things we are going to cover in the entire process? Basically, what I will do, I'm going to develop one project. I will develop one project from the scratch. And I will complete all these phase of that. I will complete all these process over there. I am just going to take one project as an ex as per example. Don't like, I'm not talking about the types of the project that we will decide. That's not a problem. It can be anything. Ultimately, it will be the automation project. The important thing is with that particular project, we are going to implement all these things over there. So once you are going to get all these kind of exposure and once you are going to be familiar with this the same thing you need to do with each and every project so this particular session that we are going to start with is from Saturday 8 p.m. IST what are the things we are going to cover how to create PDD SDD user manual release notes how to maintain the log file for the client and for the developer how we are going to deploy the boat attended unattended and how we are going to work on that how to work with the event driven deployment Suppose the client is going to get the mail, then the boat will get start. How to upgrade, how to maintain, and how to give the production support. At the time of support, what are the things you need to take care? How to maintain the worsening? How we are going to maintain the coding standard? How to work with the locked machine, the VM virtual machine and all? How to write the proper mail to client? What are the things we need to write? See, every time it's not possible, some of the time like, you can say like, Santos, uh, I'm not good in writing, English writing and all. Yeah, it's okay. That's not a problem. This is the common problem. Like, and you need to drop the mail to the client. And suppose your client is from the, like they are from the USA or from UK. So you need to pro put the proper corporate communication kind of stuff is in, should be involved over there. So what I'm talking about, like how you are going to write the proper mail to client. Some of the time might be you are going to handle with the client also. You need to deal with the client also. So how you are going to deal with that? What are the questions that you need to put? So basically it's going to cover each and everything related with the project. So it's going to start from the development. It will go up to the deployment. It will go up to the support. Everything we are going to do. It's a, we are going to develop the project. We are going to deploy the project. And we are going to provide the support, hyper care, everything I am talking about. So this particular session that we are going to start it is from Saturday, coming Saturday. And one important thing, for my old students, for my old students, the fee for the course is 1,500. 
only this amount you need to pay now you can tell me santosh like uh, i am your oldest student like why you are charging this much of amount 1500 it's very less amount 1500 it's very less amount honestly speaking if i am going to charge 15000 for this it's very less because what you people are going to get what you people are going to get you are going to justify your fake experience of 2 year 2 and 1/2 year through these particular topics got my point number 1 number 2 for the new students the amount that you need to pay is 2500 rupees registration is already going on recording will be there after the session after the session you are going to get the recording the notes will be there recording will be there everything will be there that's not a problem registration is going on and i am telling you i am telling you because this one is the real requirement of each and every one it might be you have the good knowledge with the ui path it might be like you have some problems with the ui path it might might be you are searching for the job or it might be you are in the job this is the requirement of everyone registration is going on i also have some limitation and i also have the time constant so don't wait for saturday to take the registrations might be you are going to ping me on saturday and i am going to tell you no you need to wait for the next batch because i am just going to focus on the entire things and at the same time you people need to do it properly and it's going to take around 20 hours so one month it's going to be get completed it's going to be get completed in one month so the registration is going on saturday we have the session from 8 pm ist for my oldest student the amount that you need to pay is 1500 for the newest student is 2500 if you want to take the enrollment in the course you can just text me in the whatsapp if you have any queries you can discuss with me but i believe like i discuss all the related questions regarding this entire episode it might be one question is remaining it might be you are going to ask me like what types of project we are going to develop forget about that it go, it's, it's going to be either it's going to be the web project or it's going to be windows based project or it's going to be web automation or the pdf automation i am going to take one project i am going to implement that entire project in the re framework so i am going to take all these things so i am just going to cover the maximum basically it's not about the ui path remember it's about the implementation the deployment the maintenance all the coding standard all the best practices as a good developer what exactly the industry is looking for we are going to do that so the session is from coming saturday you can just text me for any other details and don't wait for saturday it might be you are going to connect with me on saturday i am going to tell you like we don't have the seat in that particular batch now you can think like oh always there will be the seat and all don't think in that way because i am not going to entertain too much too many students for this particular things because at the same time you need to work on these entire episode you need to work on the things some of the people asking me like recording will be there definitely the recording will be there but you are going to utilize the entire time 20 hours with me with the proper implementation part thank you so much if i have any questions please text me thank you so much